ओके दिस इज सो वन रियल इट्स थ्री ए एम हियर इन इंडिया राइट नाउ वेन आई एम रिकॉर्डिंग दिस एंड यू कैन प्रॉब्ली हियर द क्रिकेट्स चॉपिंग आउट साइड माई विंडो आई सॉ दिस जस्ट नाउ एज आई वॉज स्क्रोलिंग बिफोर गोइंग टू बेड डोंट टस अबाउट माई स्लीप शेड्यूल बाई द वे सो या आई वॉज स्क्रोलिंग एंड आई सॉ दिस एंड डू रिमेंबर इन वन ऑफ माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज आई टॉक्ट अबाउट टीम क्यूरियोसिटी पॉसिबली डेवलपिंग अ न्यू गेम सो या जस्ट यू रीक एप द स्पेस फ्लाइट सिम्युलेटर टीम हैव रीब्रांडेड दम सेल्स एज टीम क्यूरियोसिटी and in that previous video that i made i talked about how there were multiple signs that team curiosity was developing more than one games and turns out it was true because check out team curiosity's website right now wait you know what you don't even need to do that because i'll do it for you uh huh are you seeing this am i the only one who's seeing this i don't know i'm not drunk yet <laughs> emphasis on yet <laughs> anyway are you seeing this as well because On my screen it literally says Space Flight Simulator 2 and it is a picture of a 3D rocket and it says trailer coming soon. So it is now official Space Flight Simulator 2 is now dropping really really soon and I should probably turn this into full screen right now. What's the key for full screen? F1, F2, F3. Oh no that's fine. It's F11. I found it. So on the right side of the screen the App Store and the Play Store buttons are grayed out because they are not available yet but the Steam button is So if I go to Steam right now, SFS2 is now on Steam and it has been made official. And if we scroll down, it says that the release date is not yet announced. So I suppose we already know that because Steph said that the SFS trailer would be out in a couple of weeks. And let's just check the system requirements here. Windows 10 as usual and 4 GB RAM, 2 gigs of storage space. So it's going to be bigger than the SFS we have here on Steam. So yeah, uh, I suppose the the system requirements are not that heavy. I think the majority of uh, Steam players will be able to run SFS 2 because the specs required are not like that high and we have some new pictures. Let's just talk about this real quick. Let me just first open up these pictures in a new tab. Okay, so let's talk about the screenshots now. So first of all, we have like this one picture. If I open this up in a new tab, okay. So the first thing that draws our attention right here is this little rocket here, and uh, it is very obviously like a 3D version of the rockets that I personally have built in my in my like early days of, of SFS. So it is really nice to see this, and we have all these little uh, like uh, like tanks. I think I suppose this is a liquid oxygen tank because it says here liquid oxygen, no smoking. And uh, there is another launch pad in the distance. So now we have at least two different launch pads, and I suppose we have like a rail system going on over here. Well, I think there is a, a rail system going on here, but we can't use it for some reason. And I think the same happens for this thing. I don't know if these two need to be joined together or if it's like just a glitch or if it's like an art, uh, artistic choice I don't know so overall this one picture this one screenshot it reminds me of simple rockets 2 I'm not going to lie dude it it reminds me of simple rockets 2 uh, maybe it's the the texture of the grass and the sand maybe that is a lot like simple rockets too maybe it's the design of the launch pad itself i don't know what exactly it is but like the total aggregate of this image reminds me of simple rockets too and it makes me think that i am looking at a modded version of simple rockets too but that is not true because this is the official sfs2 image so i kind of have mixed feelings about this because even though i am really excited at having another sfs game like a sequel to sfs but i am sort of disappointed because it kind of looks like simple rockets 2 at least in this one image though but i suppose i can just chalk that up to my lack of sample set so let's just check out some other pictures as well now with this one right here we can see that astronauts have been implemented in this game and it would seem that we have now some new rover wheels or like an improved version of of rover wheels because these wheels look very different the previous rover wheels look like they were taken from a like a tricycle but these actually look like real rover wheels so that is pretty nice and we have some really short astronauts here i mean 
they have a huge torso as compared to their legs uh, but uh, i don't <laughs> i don't want to body shame the astronauts so let's just talk about the moon now i think they're on the moon it it might be mercury but why the heck would they go on mercury you know so like it is <laughs> i think simple to assume that uh, they're on the moon so the shadows don't look super exquisite but i am in a hopeful mind that there will be separate settings options or like a custom setting option so that we can uh, fix the shadows with an expense of our graphical powering resources next up we have our own space system well not our own space system but like a space system so these are obviously fuel tanks which were exhibited by steph in one of the discord posts and this thing is the capsule which i talked about in my previous sfs leaks video and this is that one engine that uh, steph actually leaked well is it really leaked if like steph was the one to post it but steph did post about this one engine right here and we also have our very own cupola here in sfs and i think this specific picture has like two different cupolas one at the back and one at the front so next up we have the interior of the capsule and i think this is like the building space and this is the interior of the capsule and now because this interior is actually rendered and like they have actually made an interior it makes me think that these uh, that these capsule doors are supposed to open so that we can have a look inside the capsule or at least uh, that we can have like a first person view from the astronauts while they are in the capsule I suppose that, that is the reason but uh, I think we'll just have to see for ourselves when the game releases. Okay, next up we have a size comparison and even though the primary focus of this size comparison is like the one tiny little astronauts and that one big ass rocket. Oh. <laughs> okay, th th this is <laughs> distracting. Anyway, so yeah, uh, the primary focus is this astronaut and this rocket. My attention is immediately drawn to these clouds because oh my god, these are some beautiful clouds. SFS2 might not have the best shadows, but I think it has the best clouds I have ever seen in any game. And oh my god, I love these clouds. I may have very low standards for clouds, <laughs> but oh my god, I love these clouds. Okay, so now let's check out the Steam screenshots because these were the screenshots from the Team Curiosity website. If I go to Steam r real quick. So yeah, the first screenshot is the same. But if I look at the second screenshot, this is a, a different screenshot. It shows the Earth with water and with different continents and obviously the clouds. I love those clouds. <laughs> uh, it looks pretty cool. I don't know why there aren't any stars in this screenshot. I suppose this has to do something with the exposure. So I'm going to assume that this has a photo mode because of the exposure issue. But if not, I think this is just like a small oversight that, that there are no stars here. But let's not worry about that. Let's check out these engines. Oh my god, these engines are beautiful. These might be some separate solid rocket motors, but I can't really be sure because I haven't gotten a look at them, like a proper full look at the engine. So I can't really say that for now. But the continent looks good. And the next unique image we have here is of the rocket launching from the launch pad. This VAB looks very similar to the VAB we have in SFS. So I suppose the only reason that we got a VAB in SFS was to reference this VAB later on. So that is a really smart move. Nice one, guys. I know you're probably not watching this video, Team Curiosity, but I did get your Easter egg and it's pretty nice. <laughs> I really like this smoke. The smoke effect looks uh, pretty cool. I, I mean, it is kind of opaque, but I think it adds a little uniqueness to SFS and that is great. And if I look at these engines right here, these engines are now glowing red. So I suppose uh, like, you know, engines glowing red used to be a feature, uh, I think in 1.4 or 1.3. I can't remember which version, but, but glowing engines used to be a feature and it is uh, really sort of nostalgic to see this in SFS2. Next up we have a docking image and that too on the Mars. Well not on the Mars but like in Martian orbit. So we have the cross section of a space station module right here 
and the capsule right here and they are apparently docking but why is the door open like what is the point of this docking port if you're just gonna get out of the door dude just close the door and go through the docking port it looks beautiful and so does mars i don't know why i just did that i'm sorry i think i'm just sleep deprived by now <laughs> another beautiful image now this one is actually very beautiful because we have the moon we have the earth's glow right here and we have a rocket in full display like a majestic lion i sort of forgot where i was going with this analogy but the point is that it looks beautiful and we can see the different rcs now because rcs is now three dimensional so there are four rcs nozzles that is cool and we have our very own our very loved old capsule the capsule that we have in sfs right now so that one big capsule is like a different part and this capsule is a different part apparently and it is great because i love this capsule because i have nostalgic feelings to it yo space station check dude again with the door you guys really love your doors huh you guys really love your doors like these astronauts they love doors oh my god they have astronaut maneuvering and first person mode dude this game is looking to be awesome like first of all the door is open again but now but now not only the capsule door is open even the cupola door is open so i suppose we can go in and out of the uh, cupola with the thruster thing the thruster wheelchair the space wheelchair i don't know what it's called but uh, really really cool really really cool and well it's it's not a wheelchair actually because uh, we're not sitting it's like a jetpack it's like the it's like the jetpack from 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 san andreas that's what it is it is cj's jetpack cj's jetpack reimagined <laughs> well it is actually called a jetpack like in uh, in technical terms so pretty cool and another beautiful shot from the moon we have reentry and oh my god it looks beautiful why did i say it like that it looks beautiful parachutes oh we have drogue shoots as well i didn't notice this before we have drogue shoots that is cool we have the picture of a launch pad and we also have some god rays shining up oh <laughs> and we also have some god rays shining up up upon us this is i think the the second launch pad which i mentioned from that previous one like this was the first launch pad which i saw looked a lot like uh, simple rockets 2 but this is the second launch pad and it looks cool i love these things i, I don't really know what they are i don't really know their purpose irl but i do know that i love them <laughs> i do know that they're really cool and we have the sea here which i i don't see any waves but that might be like a focus thing so let's just hope for the waves because i like waves and that is it with the pictures right here we have seen all of the pictures that were available to us on steam and on the team curiosity website So now we know that Space Flight Simulator 2 is official and it's going to be so much fun. Dude, I just cannot wait for this because I can't wait for this. I don't know there <laughs> I I can't think of a reason. I just can't wait for this. So hopefully we'll see a trailer really soon and hopefully in that trailer we get to know about a release date or a launch date if you will. Ha uh ha -huh, pun pun. <laughs> hey guys, so apparently we just accidentally announced the game. We are actually in Florida right now. We just were at the Kennedy Space Center and Jordi over here <laughs> um published it to our official website, so I guess everyone knows now. Um the trailer is coming in like a few days. Um we were going to announce in a few days, but I guess you guys know the day now. So <laughs>
so i suppose that is it for this video if you guys like this video then make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and thanks for watching